Good morning, everyone. It's January the 1st of 2017, and I'd like to wish you all a very happy, healthy, and creative new year. So today I wanted to start uh, making the mixed media morsel number 12. And as you know, probably know by now, I am creating them all on beer coasters. But number 12 I can't create on a beer coaster because we are supposed to make a little book. So, well, that gets me worried a bit because control freak as I am, I'm thinking uh, a mixed media morsel book should contain mixed media morsels, right? So, well, that's a thing, but let's start and make the book. Now, uh, Cat Hand said to, that you can use anything you like. Now, we don't um, have cereal boxes or boxes with uh, cookies. We don't eat them a lot, but what we do eat is this. And this. So that's a bit of a contrast, right? A taxes and a low calorie meal. Anyway, I think this box is a bit too thick here because this should be uh, the spine. I think it's kind of thick. A lot of paper would go in this kind of book. So this is a bit smaller. So I'm thinking to create it from this and, well, I could make two uh, books uh, out of this box. So I will try and use this. So um, I will probably speed up uh, parts and do a voice over, but, uh, well, you will see. Let's get started. So here I am cutting up my pizza box in two, so I can get two books out of this pizza box. It's a bit hard to cut because of the uh, it's it's all together still in one piece, so it's a bit hard to cut, and the edges are a bit jagged. But I will clean that up later. Now I am cutting out a small uh, strip on top. And now I already have a book, really. Now, because of uh, that uh, part, which is going to be the spine of the book, is a bit fragile. I'm going to add an extra piece of cardboard on there to make it a bit stronger. So, uh, because that will hold the paper later on, so it needs to be um, quite solid. And I am just gluing this down with a golden gel medium. I find this glue uh, really good for a heavier uh, material to glue down. So um, before I used to take out my glue gun, but this works just as well. Now I am cleaning up a bit. Uh, those little flaps on the end will go away. And then I have a book which is quite uh, long actually, so I'm going to fold that long part uh, together. So this book will be uh, smaller, but the covers, the front and the back, will be a bit stronger as well because I am folding uh, that together and uh, stick it down with glue. So I'm scoring this so I can make a good fold and it needs to go uh, right before the spine because you want to open and close the book quite easy so it needs to go just a little bit before the spine uh, starts so I cut off a little bit more to make it all fit well and then fold it together and this way I will have uh, a good strong cover for my book. Now for this to glue this down I use the score tape um, and also the, the golden gel medium.
So I did that on both sides and I'm going, uh, so now this is the base of my book really and now I'm going to uh, make it nice. And I'm using the torn strips technique from mixed media morsel number 11. That's the same uh, thing Cat Hand did and I thought it looked very nice. So I chose some uh, scraps uh, of blue and brown and I'm gluing that all down with a Mod Podge. So now I have uh, all my strips uh, of paper down and on the inside I will fold uh, the excess of the, the paper strips and glue it down on the inside of my book. So here it is, almost ready you think. Um, because of the edges um, where I didn't have any paper left to fold, I am uh, using some washi tape. I had uh, a bluish color that fit uh, quite nice with the rest of the book and the strips. And I'm also using some washi tape on the spine just to make it a bit stronger. And I had this piece of paper scrap uh, uh, where that I used to cut out some flowers and I thought that look nice on the spine as well. Uh, later on you won't see much of it back because uh, there is going to be all kinds of stuff on it. So now for the inside uh, to make it uh, all nice and neat I just use a book text paper to glue down in the middle and I do that <coughs> sorry in three parts uh, the spine is a smaller part and because you will you will see some of the background coming through I just adding a uh, black acrylic paint there so uh, you won't see uh, anything of the pizza box and gluing this down with a glue stick and so the inside is neat as well now this is some handmade paper I had lying around and I decided to use this for my little book. Now I'm not sure if this will be um, a, a good paper to work on for art journaling or mixed media because it's very fragile and thin and it has these little rose uh, petals on them. But I thought, well, if it isn't going to be an art journal, then it could be a very nice notebook. So I decided to use that and I used some elastic hair ribbons, hair elastics where, that you use to um, create a ponytail in your hair for uh, binding the pages into my book. Now this is a little piece of a wooden element I found in a, a, a toy a, 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 a box for children with toys in it and um, I glued down a piece of book text on that and then uh, painted the edges with an acrylic paint I mixed some brown and some uh, black together to get the color of the paper strips and these are some card no cardboard uh, how do you call that hmm. elements cork cork elements and I used a little frame to glue down on top of that wooden element and these are some beautiful flowers in the perfect color for this book I got from my friend Janine and I'm going to use a few of the largest one ones and a few of the smaller ones
So that is all glued down and uh, because of those hair elastics that I used had a piece of metal on them, uh, I decided to add ribbons uh, on the spine and just make a knot on them and I use in uh, one with dots, a brown color and with uh, and a kind of teal color ribbon just uh, adding some little bows on there so that's about it for my mixed media morsel number 12 the easy handmade art journal make sure you check out the description box below because I will leave you some links to the Facebook group of um, cat hand the mixed media morsel Facebook group. I will also leave you a link to Cat Hands channel where uh, you can find videos um, that will help you create these mixed media morsels. So that's it for me this time. Um, hope you liked my video and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye!